Good afternoon, Westminster Woods. I'm Julington Creek. Chaplain Leslie bringing you our Tuesday community prayer for today, which is February the 20th. In honor of Black History Month, I have a poem to offer to you today. It was written by Gwendolyn Brooks. She lived from 1917 to 2000, and she was one of the most influential and widely read poets of the 20th century. She wrote more than 20 books on poetry, and she was the first black poet to win a Pulitzer Prize. The above piece that I'm going to be sharing with you is from a book entitled Selected Poems. She wrote this, and it was published back in the early 60s. And this is one of her most well-known poems, actually. And so I invite you, as you hear this, to imagine these two people, that they could be maybe somebody that you know, they could be anybody, average people, doing what people do. In this case, she often wrote about her own people and how times were oftentimes difficult and challenging. And so I invite you to picture this scene that she writes about. This is entitled The Bean Eaters, again by Gwendolyn Brooks. They eat beans mostly this old yellow pear. Dinner is a casual affair. Plain chipware on a plain and creaking wood. Tin flatware. Two who are mostly good. Two who have lived their day, but keep putting on their clothes and putting things away. And remembering. Remembering with twinklings and twinges as they lean over the beans in their rented back room that is full of beads and receipts and dolls and cloths, tobacco crumbs, vases and fringes. Let us pray. Lord, for these images of simple times, hard times in the life of this couple, there could be anyone, maybe people that we know. I pray that you, as you obviously, uh, in the mind of the, the poet Gwendolyn Brooks, brought these two people together to stay together through good times and bad times, that you do the same for us. You keep us together in good and in bad. I humbly pray for each person on our campus every resident, their family member, staff, and family members of staff, that you continue to bless us, especially in this season of Lent, as we move ever closer to Easter Sunday. We lift up this prayer in your son's name. Amen. Amen, good people. And as always, until next time, peace.